Welcome to the IMC Studio tutorial. In today's session, I would like to show you how easy it is to configure your IMC measurement device to make a simple first measurement. For this demonstration, we'll be using a tuning fork with attached strain gauges. It will be attached to our standard IMC measurement device. The device is attached to our PC. Next, we will use our PC to configure our sensors. So let's get started. After you've opened the IMC Studio program, you will find on the left side of the screen a column of all the available software plugins. When beginning a new measurement, you have two choices to navigate to the device selection area. You can either click on the Setup plugin from the column on the left, or simply click on the Show List under the Devices heading. Both options take you to the Setup page. Under the Devices tab, you are able to view all available devices. As you can see, this list contains not only the IMC devices, but can also have, for instance, a USB video camera. If this is a new software installation, you may have to click on the tab Search for Devices. If the software has previously been used, scroll through the list of available devices and check the box for your desired device. After you have selected your desired device, click on the tab Analog Channels. In this window, you could configure your individual analog channels. Here you have two possibilities. First, you can specifically customize each channel by selecting different settings. The second possibility, which we will be demonstrating today, is to use the lower window to configure your measurement. When setting up your measurement channel, you must first make the appropriate setting changes. By clicking on your desired channel in the upper window, you are then able to customize the settings in the lower window. Beginning with the tab Channel Definition, we will rename our channel. To change the channel name, simply click on the name box and type in your desired channel name. For this demonstration, we will call it vibration underscore zero one. Next, click on the tab Measurement Mode. Here we will change the coupling from full bridge to DC. In our demonstration, the remaining settings in this window are currently correct. The settings in the tabs Range and Scaling, as well as Filtering, are also currently correct. In the tab Sampling and Preprocessing, we will change the sampling rate from 100 Hz to 200 Hz, and the duration from Undefined to 1 minute. For this demonstration, we will not be making additional adjustments in the tabs Trigger Event, Data Transfer, or Curve Options. With the channel configured, we are now re ready to begin our measurement. Simply click on the button with the green arrow to begin the measurement. As you can see in the column Current Value, the live data is continuously displayed. As a side note, if you are already familiar with IMC devices, then you will notice that this setup plugin in IMC Studio is similar in its functionality. As with IMC devices, you can simply double click on the small arrow next to your active channel to display the respective curve window. Unlike IMC devices, IMC Studio offers the additional function of a panel plugin. This plugin provides you with many possibilities to illustrate your measurement data. After closing the flying curve window, simply click on the panel plugin. If you look to the right side of the screen in the window labeled Data Browser, you can find under the headings Current Measurement, then Analog Inputs, All Active Measurement Channels. Using drag and drop, you can position the desired measurement channels onto the panel page. Here, a list of options will appear that allows you to choose which illustration you want to use for your measurement data. For this demonstration, we will click on Standard. As you can see, the measurement data is now displayed on the panel. We can also easily add a numerical counter to the panel. Again, using drag and drop, place the channel on the panel page, and this time choose the numerical option. You can adjust the graphic by clicking on the desired side or corner and moving it into position. That's all for today's tutorial. Thanks for your attention and stay tuned for the next IMC Studio tutorial.